Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. Welcome to my unboxing of a tabletop catapult into the uh, beginning of certain destruction in my house. This is one of the Christmas presents I got and I've opened it up just to take a peek but I really haven't gone through it. But uh, watch with me as I see what this is all about. The Art of Catapult. Reading material. Sizable reading material with that. Interesting. I wonder if these might also be instructions. What do we have here? Let's start pulling things out. And a box of nothing. We have pieces. Hooray! Yay! Avoid suffocation. Is it in the spot? Or is this going to be a tear and pocket knife? Tear and pocket knife. Medieval catapult instructions, master drawing. And here's all the pieces and what they are. Assemble. Is this English all the way through? Yes. Your ruler, scissors, glue, and a healthy snack. Well, I think we have some grapes in the fridge. <laughs> really? A healthy snack in there? That's what it says. Alright, so I've pretty much got everything laid out to make sure it's all here. You've got your cross pieces, which would be these. One of them has a red mark on it. The base, angle brace, which would be these. Main braces, crossbar, the swing arm pad which is this release mechanism swing arm down here some string a couple of washers tensioning peg which is these I don't know if they're supposed to be one or two right? it just it doesn't say but I'm guessing one and the second one is back up and then you've got Dowels, it says 16. I think there's more than 16. Again, back up. Twist tie. It's all clay. Alright, instructions page one. It says add glue to this area or to the area indicated. It also says you can assemble the kit without glue, then go back and glue the pieces once you like the way it is. You can also glue as you go. Now, I am going to put it together without the glue for a practice run. That way if I mess up, which I'm prone to doing, it won't be permanent and I can pull it back apart. So I've got a little glue in a cup and I'm just kind of dipping the dowels in there. I've already done a test run to see how it goes together. And I decided that yes it will rather need to be glued for stability Yep. 
in each side. And three of these go to the back. This one with the hole goes towards the front. And then I'm going to slide this side on. that a little bit to dry. Next we want to attach the support structure and you will need these two pieces as well as these two. And what you want to do is attach this to here with a peg. So got a little bit of glue in the cup. And I'm going to That well, she dip both ends. There we go, put that there. And this end. I'm gonna paint a little bit on there actually. Brush, here you are. Then these two pieces go like so. <clears throat> this part's a little bit of tricky. And you want to kind of hurry with it. Because it might not be aligned the first go around. center here. I'm going to turn this around and we want to do the peg straight through into the base. Let's see how much trouble this one's going to give me. There we go. That one was much smoother. Now we've got that, the next part is to kind of hurry, place this on there. And this is where it comes in a little tricky to make sure they're far enough apart. I had some trouble with this when I did a test run. Okay. I'll work with this a little bit. Ah! It's already starting to set up. There we 
Okay. That'll work. This one in there. And the same one over here. Dab yeah, the glue here. And around the bag. There we go. Give that a little time to dry. One thing the instructions don't really clarify shows you this piece already assembled which we're going to be putting on soon but I'm going to go ahead and throw a little glue in between and onto here this this is going to be like the stop for the catapult and then we've got this piece here which is the catch no this is wrong here we go this piece goes on the bottom to set the catapult so, go ahead and glue these in there. On the bottom. This is going to go down here and swing back and forth. So I'm going to glue the pegs into this, let that dry. I don't want to glue it solid to the frame and then have a problem. And the other thing we want to do, we can probably go ahead and start now. The string. And this might take a little trial and error to get it right. Basically what you want to do wrap it around this about five times. You don't want to do it real tight. Because what you're going to do next, this is going to be the, well, what makes it fire. We've got that. I'm going to Take a twist tie, put one in, to fish it through, first a washer, fish this through there, and then this goes through one side. And then the other big hole. Stop. I don't pull it too far. I need to put a peg in here. There's two larger dowels. These are the ones we're using to put everything together, but there's two this big. You want to slide one into here to kind of hold that. too tightly again. I'm going to try and fish this pig through here if at all possible. Okay. 
Come on. Almost got it. There we go. All right. Got it through there. Nice and tight. Then I got it pretty good and snug. You want to tie this end. I either put glue or put some kind of glue or something on there or use a flame to burn it so that it doesn't come undone. That's how time to dry. What you do? Well, I'm going to give that some time to dry. In this part, the swivel arm pad goes right up here. A little bit of glue. This catches or provides a uh, soft spot, if you will, for the um, swing arm. That eventually will go in between this rope. And then, what you do is you twist these two forward. And you got the last two pegs, and once you get it twisted, you slide a peg in there to keep it from coming undone. And it will eventually bring that up. The glue's had some time to dry. I've got a couple of extra pegs here. And I'm going to try and wind this up. Twist these sides so they're pretty tight, and then stick a peg in here to hold them. There we go. And we have a catapult. So I have conveniently rolled up a ball of clay to launch <laughs> and it went bye bye we almost forgot the healthy snack oh. have a healthy snack okay yum follow the instructions Next video, we'll test out the catapult. Yay!